this life of the bone marrow smear, you must begin with the low power objective. So that is the low power objective view of the bone marrow smear. Now, the purpose of starting with this objective is for you to be able to immediately identify the largest cells in the bone marrow which are the megaparyocytes. Look at the size of its nucleus, the volume of its cytoplasm in comparison with the rest of the cells present in the bone marrow. So mega is referring to huge or large. That is why si Sharon Coneta <laughs> now, there are only two lineages of cells that we will be able to identify in light microscopy. The, the, these are the myeloid and erythroid cells. The myeloid series will eventually produce what mature blood cells? The granulocytes, eosinophils, basophils, and neutrophils. So the erythroid being called by such name will produce the erythrocytes or the red blood cells. Now we will not be able to see and identify easily the precursors of the monocytes and lymphocytes in the bone marrow smear. So that we will limit our study into the identification only of the myeloid and erythroid cells. So we will begin with the myeloid series. What is the first identifiable precursor of the granulocytes in the bone marrow? The blast of the myeloid cells which are called myelocytes. So that is first Okay. Now, that is how a myeloblast will look like, okay? So that you will be able to appreciate better the appearance of that cell, compare that cell with that cell pointed or even this cell. Pointed. And these cells also. What can you say about the size of its nucleus? In comparison with the rest of the cells present in that field? Large. Huh? Much, much larger than the other cells present in that field. So that is one characteristic feature of a myeloblast. And then look at its cytoplasm. Almost not appreciated. Very scant. Now, in myeloblasts possessing cytoplasm, their cytoplasm will appear clean looking. Unlike these cells where you are, you are able to see granules in their cytoplasm already. So, okay. so that cell is displaying distinct granules in its cytoplasm. Look at the cytoplasm of that cell even if it is very scant, it does not contain any granule. So, large nucleus, very scant and clean looking cytoplasm. Sometimes, you will be able to see nucleoli. So, this nucleus contains two nucleoli. Now, this is a special feature of the cells in the bone marrow. Their nucleoli will appear lighter than the rest of the contents of the nucleus. Unlike in other cells of the body where their nucleoli is, are much darker than the other contents of the nucleus. Okay, so myeloblast. Next cell in the myeloid series is the cell which will possess what is the first type of granule that will appear. Azurophilic. That is why it is also called by what name? Primary, Primary granule. Okay. So azurophilic, primar contain, or azurophilic or primary granule. 
is the only type of granule that will be present in what is the cell produced from the myeloblast the the pro myelocyte now how will you be able to identify a pro myelocyte that is how a promyelocyte will look like. Look at the color of its cytoplasm. Unfortunately, the detail is not properly projected by our device. You will be able to see granules already in its cytoplasm. Okay? So there are already granules in the cytoplasm which are mostly colored blue or violet. Blue or violet. That is the color of the azurophilic granules blue or violet now after the pro myelocyte follows what cell myelocyte a myelocyte is differentiated from the pro myelocyte because of the presence now of aside from the azurophilic granules the specific granules Take a look now at the cytoplasm of that cell. You will be able to see blue-colored granules plus the smaller pink-colored granules. Okay, the pink-colored granules are now the specific granules. In this stage of development of the myeloid cells, the azurophilic granules will be, now, will be accompanied already by the specific granules. So that will be the characteristic feature of a myelocyte. Azuropilic granules, blue color, plus pink colored specific granules. At this stage of development, you will now also be able to identify each type of developing granulocyte. So that granulocyte is displaying azuropilic granules plus orange colored specific granules. That must be a eosinophilic myelocyte. Very good. An eosinophilic myelocyte. How about that cell pointed? Okay, still an eosinophilic Myelocyte. How about this cell pointed? It is displaying two types of granules, blue colored and pink colored granules. Neutrophilic myelocyte. How about that cell? It also displays both blue and pink colored granules. Neutrophilic Myelocyte Okay, it should be called Metamyelocyte Why? Okay So if the nucleus is still round to oval With two types of granules Myelocyte If there is already indentation of the nucleus Metamyelocyte That cell should also be called Metamyelocyte because of the indentation. How about that cell? Ban. Also, ban. A mature granulocyte will appear like that. So, a ban cell that is almost equal thickness in the length of the nucleus. In the mature, you will already be able to see constrictions which will produce the lobulations. Or segmentations. So those are the stages of development of the myeloid cells. So identify the cell pointed. Ban. Ban. The meta. Meta myelocyte. How about that cell? Mature. Mature. How about that cell? Ban. How about this cell? 
Okay. That cell now belongs to the erythroid series. Okay? So, so, okay. so look at the intensity of the color of the chromatin. Okay? This cell is an erythroid cell. That cell is also an erythroid cell. That cell is also an erythroid cell. What can you say about the color of their nucleus in comparison with the myeloid cells? Darker. So, books describe that appearance as coarse. Coarse. C O A R S E. What is the first identifiable cell in the erythroid series? What is the other name for that cell? Or pronormoblast. Pronormoblast or proerythroblast. Now, these two cells are the proerythroblast. Look at the intensity of the color of their nucleus. And then, the proerythroblast can be identified easily also because of the scan volume of their blue colored cytoplasm with the perinuclear clearing. There is a clear area in the cytoplasm immediately surrounding the nucleus with very scanned cytoplasm. Now, after the pronormoblast follows basophilic erythroblast or basophilic normoblast. Okay? So in the basophilic normoblast, there will be increase in the volume of cytoplasm with characteristic violet color. Blue or violet color. That is why it is called a basophilic. Look at the color of the cytoplasm of the mature red blood cells. Unfortunately, parang gray to blue. But in an ideally stained smear, the color of the cytoplasm should be pink or red because of the presence of what protein? Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Which is synthesized by what organelle? Particularly the ribosomes which are studied in? Okay, rough endoplasmic reticulum where hemoglobin is actually synthesized. <laughs> what will send the command from the nucleus to the rough ER in order to produce the protein hemoglobin? RNA. Particularly what type? No. From the nucleus to the ribosome. MRNA. mRNA. The presence of numerous mRNA and RAF ER imparts that color to the cytoplasm of the basophilic erythroblast. Remember, the color of hemoglobin is pink. Now, when the RAF ER begins to produce hemoglobin, you will now be able to see pink color accompanying the violet color in the cytoplasm. So what is the cell following the basophilic normoblast? Polychromatophilic erythroblast. Okay. Polychromatophilic erythroblast appears like that. First thing first, look at the color of the nucleus in comparison with the color of the nucleus of the myeloid cells. Darker. And then look now at the color of its cytoplasm. Pink and violet. Indicating that there is already the start of hemoglobin synthesis. Accompanying the blue color graph in the plasmic reticulum. That is why it is called polychromatophilic. 
poly indicating many because of the presence of the two colors already. And then chroma refers to color. Following, ah, this is a better appearance of a polychromatophilic erythroblast. Blue and then pink. Following, the polychromatophilic is orthochromatophilic normoblast or erythroblast. Now, orto is Latin for right or correct. Because the color of the cytoplasm of this precursor of the red blood cells resembles already the color of the cytoplasm of the mature red blood cell. So let us look for the appearance of a polychromatophilic, ay, an orthochromatophilic erythroblast. Okay. Look at the color of the cytoplasm of the mature red blood cells. Why will we be able to say that these are mature red blood cells? Okay, the absence of nucleus. So the color of cytoplasm of the orthochromatophilic erythroblast is almost the same with the color of the cytoplasm of the mature red blood cells. Look at the size of it, their nucleus in comparison with the size of the nucleus of what stage is pointed? Polychromatophilic. Very good. So there is gradual decrease or shrinking in size of the nucleus. How do you call that change? No. The shrinking of the nucleus. No, peak noses. Until eventually the nucleus is extruded from the cytoplasm. Producing what cell? A reticulocyte, which cannot be identified using this stain. For the metex, what stain is used to identify retics? Okay, vital stain. Supra vital stain. Okay? So identify the cell pointed. First thing first, erythroid or myeloid? Erythroid. Look at the color of the cytoplasm. So that, that cell should be called? Polychromatophilic. Notice the size of the nucleus in comparison with that cell. Which should be called? Orthochromatophilic. How about this cell pointed? Myeloid or erythroid? Myeloid. Myeloid. Is there any granule in its cytoplasm? None. None. So that it should be called? Myeloblast. A myeloblast. How about this cell? Okay. Meta, myelocyte. Very good. Mas specific ang neutrophilic meta myelocyte. How about that cell? Myeloid. What stage? Myeloid. Myeloid. Actually, dito, orange ang color ng granules. The nucleus is still oval. Myelocyte. How about that cell? Band. Okay, almost band. Pero in between pa siya ng meta and band. Ah, ito ang metamyelocyte. How about that cell? Aha. Look at the color of the cytoplasm. Myelocyte. How about that cell with pycnotic nucleus? Orthochromatophilic erythroblast. Ah, 
Okay, which is the pro normal blast? One above or below? Above. How do you call the cell below? Milo blast. <laughs> How about this cell? Basophilic electroblast. How about that cell? Erythroid or myeloid? Look at the color of the cytoplasm. Polychromatophilic. If that is a polychromatophilic erythroblast, that cell should be called ortho. Very good. So, do you have any questions? Okay. Kindly, kindly prepare for.